It's not Sprain, it's Swain's Island. Sorry, had a brain fart. But glad I did, because that's a good story too. Swain's Island to locals at Tolehega is a one square mile atoll in the South Pacific. Its closest neighbors are the three islands of Tokelau, part of New Zealand, sorry if I butchered that, and the Samoas, American Samoa and the country of Samoa. Here's the story. No one knows who Swain is exactly, but an American named Eli Jennings and his Samoan wife claimed to have bought the entire island from a British guy who said he discovered it, which probably wasn't True. Funny enough, the transaction supposedly included gin, which would make it the second time this week that liquor has been used to claim an island. The Jennings family ruled it privately for the next 70 years. They ran a coconut plantation and about 100 people lived there. It's got to be said that the story's not rosy. Locals were pushed out by foreigners and Jennings had a hand in the slave trade. In the 1920s, the U.S. officially annexed it as part of American Samoa, but gave the Jennings the right to keep running it. And Tokelau became part of New Zealand. Despite the shady origin story, by the 1980s, it was generally accepted that the place was American. Except for the people of Tokelau, who added a fourth star to their flag in 97, widely thought to represent Swains Island. Today, the island has no recorded permanent population, but people do stay there. New Zealand acknowledged it was American in the 80s, but Tokelauans drafted a constitution that included it as theirs. The island has a seat in the American Samoa government. The current representative is Sua Alexander Jennings.